Hi everyone. So um, what I wanted to do today is make a comparison between zinc and aluminum breed plates uh, from this old 1940s uh, vintage Honer accordion, which these aren't the actual reads from the accordion. I have them somewhere else in the uh, shop. In the case of this accordion, um, it has a combination of both zinc and aluminum uh, reeds. For example, all the bassoon reeds from the treble section are aluminum, while the two middle reeds are zinc. Um, and on the bass side, the two lowest octaves are aluminum, while the two highest octaves are, uh, are zinc. So, just so you can have a closer look, this over here, let's see if you can see this. Yeah, sort of, more or less. This is a zinc reed plate, uh, an aluminum, sorry, and this is, this one is the zinc. As you can see, it has kind of a stained look. And again, the aluminum one is more shiny, okay? So, in the case of these reeds, both have a T marked on it. Um, as you may know, Honor reeds are marked with either a T or an H, sometimes a T and an H, both together. Sometimes they're marked as artiste reeds, which are the higher quality, wider reeds uh, with a different rivet, a little wider, like in the new Honor Atlantics. Um, anyway, different kinds of uh, reeds made by Honor over the years and different combinations, uh, depending on the accordion and the, you know, just the motto and what they decided on putting in those models. So I just wanted to make a uh, comparison uh, regarding the sound of these different uh, materials for reeds because at least in Argentina where I live, uh, live there is a lot of myth around accordions with uh, zinc uh, reed plates sounding better or stronger and uh, you know I just wanted to, uh, to check it out to see if that's true or not and if there's a real uh, sound difference or whether it's all just myth or uh, whether it depends on different factors um, in the construction of the accordion such as the box, the grill, uh, the mute, different different um, factors that could influence the sound as much or even more than the actual material of the reed plate. The reed itself, the, the reed tongue is always in both cases is going to be a um, made of stainless steel, right? So, um, let's just start off by weighing, you know, these reeds. I have three pairs. This is an F, this is a, a G, and this is an A. All in pairs from the treble section. I just want to first check out how much it weighs. So I have this, this uh, tiny scale here. We're going to start off with this F, uh, the aluminum, the aluminum one. And... The weight of this reed is 5.2 grams, while the zinc reed weighs 10.0 grams, so exactly double as much. Let's go with this aluminum uh, higher G note, weighs 3.9 grams, and the same note. Of course, I'm weighing these reeds with the leathers on them, but it's going to be the same weight in both cases. So this was 3.9 for the aluminum, and this is uh, 7.9, almost 8 for the zinc, so again, double the weight. And we're gonna start, uh, end up with this last high A from the treble section as well. This is the highest A in the bassoon uh, reads, 3.9 grams, the aluminum one and the zinc one, uh, 8.2. So the conclusion is just uh, that the zinc reed plates weigh exactly double as much. So if you multiply that by the amount of reeds that there are in a standard uh, three and four, or three and five reed accordion, which is somewhere in between 100 and 60, 170 reeds, uh, you know, you're going to end up with about a kilo difference uh, in the weight. I, I did the math beforehand, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but there's a big, big difference in weight. Um, and also, I mean, the reason why they stopped making uh, zinc uh, back in those days, in the 1940s, is because of the arsenic, I think it's called in English, what, uh, a chemical that they put in it, or used to put in it. Uh, which is very toxic and you know just materials evolved aluminum came into more common use etc etc i'm not going to go into that right now so let's just try to check out uh, if there's any sound difference now i don't have the best um, sound analysis technology i have to admit 
I just downloaded a few uh, simple programs from the internet and I have this nice Peterson tuner um, just to show us the note we're playing but um, you know I did a lot of tests before this actual video and I'm just gonna show you a couple of things as a demonstration but I'll then I'll just jump to my personal conclusion um, which I consider isn't uh, based on a deep enough investigation but with what I could do I draw my own conclusion so so this is just a you know wooden device I made to uh, try out the individual reeds while they're out of the uh, reed block so sorry this was an F sharp not an F um, so listening to the aluminum one, yeah? Now we're going to change over to the zinc, same note, F sharp. The sound frequency looks very, very similar on this pretty basic uh, program, but um, but I also suspect, I mean, you can't just easily tell the difference just by ear. I mean, you have to have a lot of experience. It's, uh, it's difficult for me to, to just tell. I think if I had my eyes closed, uh, I don't know whether I would be able to tell. And I have a lot of experience tuning accordions and, uh, you know, checking out these things. So this is the, the, G, the higher G. The aluminum reed is in there. Yeah, with the higher reads, the the frequency wave looks a little different. I don't know if you can tell the difference just by ear still. Um, we're going to try out this last A. That's the aluminum one. I'm just trying to check out the shape of the wave that's being made. Not paying attention to the, to the volume. The dB at this point. I guess there's a very slight, if any, uh, difference in the shape. So, I'll just jump into my conclusions because the, the better applications I found um, for sound uh, analysis and spectrum analysis, uh, I actually downloaded on my phone, which I'm using to film this. So, uh, this isn't the, the good one. But from different tests I've made, doing this, for a long time and just checking out the tuning to make it you know to get it to you know as close as possible uh, so the you know the tuning itself doesn't affect the results of the test um, and uh, well my conclusions are the following I think basically there isn't a very big uh, sound difference to the simple ear if we go into the the more technical analysis, what I did find is that on the on the zinc reads um, on the higher overtones, the starting on around eight hundred or one thousand hertz, there's more volume on those overtones. As you may know, if we listen, for example, to an A note, uh, then inside that sound that that uh, note we're going to be hearing a certain amount of the overtones which is for example the fifth and the third and as you go up uh, to higher frequencies uh, stranger uh, notes which are not directly related uh, at least we don't usually think to the original note um, can still be maybe not heard but detected by these applications so what I'm trying to say is that on the higher uh, frequency range, the zinc plates had more response or more volume on those overtones. It's definitely not something we can hear. Um, on the lower notes, like this uh, lower F sharp pair, which uh, we tried before, uh, there wasn't much difference at all. Uh, the pattern seemed quite, quite um, similar, you know? Um, but I guess, you know, from listening to a lot of bandoneons in Argentina, where we are, uh, 
the sound, I mean, the construction of the bandoneon is it's quite different to the accordion because there's no celluloid on the wood. And there's many things that are different, but I guess you could generally say that uh, musicians prefer the darker sound of uh, zinc reed plates. Because even in bandoneons, um, there are certain models which, which have aluminum uh, reed plates. Um, so, I guess I could, I, I, I also noticed that a little bit, that on some notes, uh, if I get like really, really deep into detail, then, um, then the zinc uh, reeds have a little bit of a more darker sound, while the aluminum reeds have a more uh, bright sound. But then again, like I said earlier, that could all be modified by other things such as the mute, the grill, uh, tone chamber, and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, as you know, nowadays, uh, handmade reeds, like the best quality reeds that you can get are made of uh, aluminum or dual aluminum, like the best quality uh, aluminum that there is. Uh, and yet, uh, for bandonians, there are uh, factories which make zinc aluminum plates specifically in the uh, Czech Republic, Republic for example. Uh, a colleague of mine which makes uh, bandonians in Argentina buys them to make his bandonians. So in general I guess the conclusion there isn't, uh, there isn't a difference which is significantly important because you can ultimately shape the sound with other uh, factors which aren't the reed plate only. So I hope this very long video was uh, of use to any of you. And if you have any comments, please subscribe, click below, and all those things. See you next time.